Dropbox lets you share up to two gigabytes of files either with yourself among different computers which can be synchronized no matter where you connect in the world or um, you can share with co-workers either in your own office because this will work over the LAN at LAN speeds or online with co-workers that can be located anywhere. Uh, this is encrypted so it's safe for everyone and the application is both lightweight and simple. After installation uh, you get a little folder on your computer called a Dropbox. Anything I put in this folder goes online and then I can access it from any other computer where I install the application or if I want I can share with others and Dropbox even allows you to share files with people that are not Dropbox users so they don't even have to have the application installed because Dropbox gives you a public folder. I'll go there now and here I have a test file that I've created. I can right click on this highlight uh, Dropbox in the context menu that shows up and then click on copy public link. Now if I give that link to anyone they can then download that file. However uh, one of the best uses for Dropbox is just to uh, put files into your regular folder and I can make subfolders if I want as many as I want however I want. It's very flexible and Dropbox will keep everything updated so I could be working with a file and I update it and then uh, my friend from around the world or my coworker logs in and uh, their computer will automatically synchronize. In fact they don't even have to really log in. Dropbox uh, happens automatically in the background. And to make things even better it even has some limited uh, subversion control. So if somebody makes a change that you don't like, it's very easy to revert to a previous version of a document that you were sharing.